Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habata fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kirim Kullu nafsin da'ikatul mawt Every soul shall taste of death. Every soul shall taste death. So, upon you and I, since we're still in the world of the living, alhamd, is to kind of prepare for that. No doubt to prepare for that. As our Salaf and our Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim used to say, A dunya dar al amal, al akhirah dar al jaza. A dunya dar al amal, al akhirah dar al jaza. This life is the time to do deeds, you know, actions. In the hereafter. Is the Dar al Jaza, meaning the time to reap the reward from those deeds. So, with that being the case, Ahabatifillah, it's absolutely imperative that we try to use our time in this life. To please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. In order to have success. Because there's no doubt we're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of us will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we absolutely must prepare ourselves for that meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ad-dunya dar al-amal wal akhirah dar al-jaza ad-dunya dar al-amal wal akhirah dar al-jaza so you're going to reap your rewards of what you did in this life in the next life so, so you do righteous deeds. Because if you reap negative, sinful, wicked deeds, that's what you're going to reap. That's what you'll get in the Akhirah. And as the scholars mention, that when talking about a, a lot of punishments, they say, or punishments or reward, al jaza. Min jins al amal, meaning that a part of your reward has to do. It's related. It's commensurate with the deeds that you do. So, for example, a person who who does a particular wicked sin that in the in the akhirah they will be gaining some of the punishment. That is similar to that sin. They will reap the punishment, which is similar to the sin. It's it's very much related. For example, if you stole or you uh, harmed people in this life, which is wicked and sinful, then that you you will have harm as a part of your reward or punishment, if you will, in the akhirah. So that's why it's important. To shvest, to do righteous deeds in this life, do things pleasing to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, seek to draw nearer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by righteous deeds, and that requires ilm. In fact, it requires knowledge, because you need to know, have knowledge of what is good, and knowledge of what is evil. I mean, we know. There are things that are within our fitra, no doubt. They're within our natural inclination 
of knowing that something is wrong and something is harmful. But a lot of the punishments, a lot of the things that are wicked and sinful, we know that they are sinful and displeasing to Allah. We know it from the Nasus, we know it from the Quran, we know it from the Sunnah of the Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. It's not necessarily related to our intellect, what we think is wrong and what we think is right or what we think is not so harmful. But rather, our mizan, our scale, is from the, the Quran and the Sunnah. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, bless us with the class, with the bad, and bless us to be of those servants of His that He is pleased with and that do those things which are pleasing so we can have righteous, a righteous ending.